Reels have changed the game for me a little bit um, over on Instagram because if you didn't know, in about a month and a half, I've gone from 450 followers on Instagram to over 10,000 and uh, it's been a little bit crazy. Listen, stop eating grass. You're a dog, you're not a cow. Weather has finally got good. It's been way too long since we've had warm days. Um, as usual, the winter in the UK has taken far too long to disappear. But uh, we're out and about today with Destin on a little walk. It's a hot day. better. That was disgusting. Some more. As we're sat here having a little break, where are you going? Let's talk about um, reels a little bit. Um. Okay, when talking about reels, we've got to start by taking it back a few months, uh, about a month and a half. And I posted this reel here. Sandwich to the squares. You can't rain on my oh. It's only a seven second reel and there's nothing that crazy about it you might think but that reel got 1.1 million views 1.1 million that blows my mind and yes at the time I had 450 followers so how on earth did I do that why did it happen and how can you do it that sound you know I'll be honest, I don't think he's too interested. <laughs> yeah, I know, I left it behind. But you've got to walk off to make the shot look, you know, vloggy. Okay, so let's break down what was going on. Obviously, Reels has come across because TikTok has been doing so well and Instagram want a share of that kind of audience, the short form content kind of era that we're coming into. Why did that reel and so many others do so well? There are a few little things. Number one, it's length. Like I mentioned, it's only a seven second reel and you'd think that 30 seconds is long enough for a piece of content. The Instagram reels and all these other short form content platforms they all want you to stay on the app as long as possible. It makes sense when you think about it. They want people to stay on Instagram, see more ads, so they can make more money. So content that keeps people on Instagram is going to be favoured by the algorithm. So you might think, I should make my reels longer. Well, actually, that might not always be the right decision. I've noticed that my reels that are shorter, no longer than 15 seconds, tend to perform better because people watch them all the way through. Instagram really likes that. If you can get people to watch your reels multiple times, Instagram's gonna love you. So don't make your reels too long. Try and keep them short and concise. I'd say maximum 15 seconds. Listen, you've managed to find the only puddle. very happy with yourself, aren't you? My next tip for reels is make your content interesting. I know it sounds really obvious, but you've got to provide some sort of value to the people that are watching your reels. You want them to learn something new or see something they've never seen before. There are so many different ways of doing this. And if we're just talking about photography, for example, you could show how to take a photo, how to edit a photo, the behind the scenes, how you could use different focal lengths, comparisons, techniques, you could teach someone how to use certain settings, what things mean. There's so many different options and creative ideas. That's just to name a few.
Good job, Das, you did it. You're learning. You're learning the ways. Thirdly, make your reels stand out. That's a bit of a vague comment, so I'll just clarify a little bit. Try and find ways to make your reels look different to everyone else's, whether that's using high quality cameras to film them. If you can use a camera over a traditional phone, then your reels are gonna look that much better than everyone else's. Also, when we talk about standing out, I like to use text that's not from the actual Instagram editor. I like to add text if I'm gonna add text to my reel um, through my actual editing software on DaVinci Resolve. Uh, 17 now. It just adds that extra level of professionalism uh, and again making a real stand out because they don't look quite the same as everyone else. Okay let's talk about music. You probably hear the same songs on reels all the time and there is kind of a reason for it. Trending music kind of seems to help reels be more successful. So using trending music, often fast paced music can help your viewers get to the end of the reel. Um, slow paced music can often make the reel seem longer than it actually is. And so people might not always get to the end. In terms of finding the trending music, when you choose the music, there is often a tab that says trending now or recommended for you. And if not, go watch some reels and you'll basically hear which ones are going around. If you can make your reel work with music that isn't trending, that'll be even better because it'll be a different sound than everyone's is. I think that's pretty much it. That's all of my kind of quick tips for reels. If you do have any further questions, please don't hesitate to leave a comment down below and I'll try my best to get back to you. Or you can leave me a message over on my Instagram at LucasJohnsFastino. Go ahead, go and follow. I share all of my photography on there. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Leave a like, subscribe to this channel. I'm hopefully going to get more content out soon. See you next time.